Hello everyone, my name is Bodo, and today we're going to create a recovery drive for Windows 8.1. So what we're going to need is a Windows 8.1 system and a flash drive. So I've got this Lexar flash drive here, and that'll work fine. Our first step is going to be going to uh, our search menu by hitting the Windows key and the S key, and typing in recovery drive. This first option here is what we want, it is create a recovery drive. So I'll click it. I'll say yes, and then this tells us exactly what a recovery drive does. So it says, you can use a recovery drive to help troubleshoot problems with your PC, even if it can't start. If your PC came with a recovery partition, you can also copy it to the recovery drive so you can use it to refresh or reset your PC. So essentially, it is a very useful tool that I use quite a bit on other people's computers. If your computer isn't able to start because some system files have gotten screwed up, Having an external recovery drive is great, and having one on your hard drive is also good. So we're going to click copy the recovery partition from the PC to the recovery drive, make sure that's checked, and then we'll click next. It tells us please wait, and then it'll give us another warning here. Oh, it wants us to pick our drive, so that Lexar is fine, that's the one I chose. Next. There's the warning I was talking about. So everything that is on the flash drive you're going to use to create the recovery drive will be deleted. So if you have any important documents or pictures on that drive, make sure they're backed up somewhere else because they will be gone. Click Create. And now it's creating the drive. So essentially this drive will allow us to fix our computer in the event that it does not boot up correctly. Um, the best example would be that whenever you turn on your computer and it doesn't go to Windows or things stop working in general, you are able to put this drive into the USB port on your computer and turn it on, and your computer should automatically recognize that it's a recovery drive and give you recovery options. And those recovery options will hopefully repair or at least troubleshoot your PC to figure out what the issue is. So, um. Creating this recovery partition takes a little bit of time, just because it's copying quite a few files. It depends on how fast your um, USB port is and how much data you're transferring. So mine's going to take just a little while, and then I will get back to you. So give us one sec. All right, it's been a few minutes, and it looks like the process is almost done. So we're just going to let it run its course here. It'll hopefully finish up in just a second. Um, like I said, the recovery drive is very useful to anyone who has a computer. It should probably be one of the first things you do whenever you get a new computer. Um, many manufacturers go and create their own recovery drives on your computer. If you go to um, your file explorer here, there should be another drive that it's built into it. It's a, another partition and it'll say recovery, like this one does. And there's our drive. So it's almost done, very nearly. And um, that recovery drive has the same function as this one here. However, this external recovery drive can be used on other computers as well that use um, Windows 8.1 64-bit. The cool thing about having Windows 8.1 32-bit is whenever you create a recovery drive from a 32-bit machine, it can be used on 32-bit or 64-bit machines. However, you cannot use a Windows 8.1 recovery drive on Windows 8 or vice versa. So that's a negative effect there. Um, like I was saying earlier, to use this drive, all you do is um, you plug it into your computer, one of the USB ports, and then whenever you restart your computer, your computer should recognize that a recovery drive is plugged into the port and it will bring up a list of options. And those options are generally um, refresh, reset, or recover. A refresh refreshes all of the files and um, settings on your computer, so everything will work fine and it gets rid of any external programs um, that you might have installed. So things like Chrome, Firefox, um, any games will probably be gone. However, it fixes any issues you might have had. That's a good thing to do whenever you first get a computer because it will remove any junkware that came pre-installed. A reset is exactly what it sounds like. It resets your computer to pretty much factory default. So you'll have Windows 8.1 and that's about it. And a recovery, a recover will not remove any files. It will just try and fix the bad files. 
So um, that's generally your system default files that you really will probably never see. And now we just gotta wait. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, but that's okay. We have time. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to pause the recording and it's going to finish right after I do that. So, here we go. I was totally right, I paused it and it finished like five seconds after. Great. Okay, so it says the recovery drive is ready. It says you can also delete the recovery partition on your PC and free up some drive space. So that's what I was talking about earlier. On um, your C drive, it'll be partitioned as another letter, probably D or E or something like that. And um, it will also say a recovery. That's something that a lot of manufacturers have put on there before. So with the creation of this external recovery drive, you're able to delete that drive and free up some space on your C drive, which is great because that means you have more room for games or videos, things like that. So now I'll click Finish, and we're done. So now you can take out that flash drive from your computer and just put it somewhere safe and mark it as recovery and say, um, if you ever have any issues, plug that in and restart your computer. If whenever you plug it in and the computer restarts but it doesn't even know that that flash drive's there, you might have to adjust the boot order. And that's done in your BIOS, which um, is a much more complicated process than we should probably try and explain in this video. But if you go on your phone and Google, I'm saying on your phone because your computer will probably be dead whenever you need it. <laughs> but um, if you go on your phone and you Google um, how to change boot order on your computer model manufacturer and everything like that in Google, it will give you a very specific set of instructions on how to go into your BIOS and change that order. I wouldn't recommend just messing around your BIOS unless you really know what you're doing with your computer. Okay, that's all I have for you today, and I'll see you again in the future. Bye-bye.